So here's my quick review of the Hisense Q5 tablet slash monitor. So I, I bought this mainly to, to use as an, external, as an external monitor, but I will say that it does have potential as a tablet. Um, so <clears throat> here for example, here let me show you guys this handwriting thing that it comes with. So this is a doodling app, and as you can sort of see, it has very little lag. It's almost a very smooth as butter. Um, so it's definitely, it definitely has some pretty good specs under the hood. Uh, battery life, I haven't, it's Monday, and I charged it on Friday. Uh, so it's been in standby most of the time pretty good. Um, the other day I used it to do a zoom call and it, it was a half an hour call and Z, uh, zoom is very ex uh, CPU intensive and the CPU dropped by 10% um, so if you want to look at that uh, so it would be 30 times 10 all right, so basically I would get me 300 minutes of Zoom, a Zoom call, which is, turns out to be around uh, five hours of, of a Zoom meeting. Um, and I say that's pretty good. Um, you know, my MacBook only gives me like two hours of Zoom meetings. So I'd say it has a pretty good battery. Um, here, let me put a video. Let's go to... Uh, Let's actually watch maybe um, about like uh, yeah, let's go here. Let's watch an action packed video about like maybe the Terminator. Terminator Dark Fate. Damn it. Come on. Okay. No, I don't want to watch the other movie, just the... Here we go. So here it is. I don't know how visible this is, but in terms of refresh, re refresh, I, I am seeing very high refresh rates. Certainly, at least 30 frames per second. Um, I don't know how much you guys can watch because I am sitting outside in the sun. And there is some glare. Um, so about that, oh, let's go back. Uh, so two things. The first thing is that you can totally sit outside, like in the sun, and you'll be fine. So that's like in contrast to my cell phone or my MacBook. Like if I'm out in the sun, uh, it's they're pretty much unusable. Um, but not this thing. Because, you know, it needs an external light source to be more um, readable, legible. So it's actually in your favor. The, the one thing, though, is... Because speaking about this like, as a tablet... Um, so the... Okay, I'll, and I'll put the movie back on. So the speaker isn't that loud. Um, it's definitely louder than my MacBook. I mean, not, not my MacBook, my, my phone but it's not as loud as my Mac. Um, so it is a little bit of not, not that great of a speaker. Um, fun fact, this is also a phone. Uh, let's see if I can find the, um, the, where is it? Yeah, 
there's a, it, it, does, it, it is a phone, so you, you can totally put a SIM card in it, and it'll give you 4G LTE speeds, um, like if you ever want to do that. Um, I was able to sideload Zoom, like I said before, um, and I, I, I'd say as a tablet that has this, this thing has a lot of potential. Um, the only thing that I have an issue with is the language. So if you go to, where is the language? The language settings. Um, let me just search for them. Yeah, so it is in English, right? But if you look at the keyboard, like there's no way to change it to something besides Mandarin. Um, so one of the one Reddit I recommended I, that I just install another keyboard. Um, but the issue with that is that like I installed Firefox from the App Store that comes installed, and if you notice, like it's still in Mandarin. So like I don't I don't read Mandarin, and. If you notice right here, I have the Play Store installed. So that one I installed from the App Store that comes here, but it doesn't load. Um, so I think the only gotcha that I see so far with using this as a tablet is that um, like I haven't found a way to sideload the Play Store. And so all the apps are going to be in, in, in Mandarin. Um, and here, let me show you another, let me actually show you one last thing. Also, in terms of what what makes it really neat, um, here check this out. So one of the one of the ways that I use my e-ink reader is you know like when I have something very long to read, I'll 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 use something like um, push the Kindle to send it to my Kindle. But the problem is that it's not like it's basically a static document. It's you know it's it's an EPUB or whatever format it uses. But here, right, this is actual this is actually a browser. So so check this out. Right, let's see, um, it's fully interactive. So this page that I'm reading, right, is actually uh, uses um, uh, animations under the hood and you can basically see that they're smooth as butter. Um, here's another one. So. So, so again, um, as a tablet, it, it, it's very promising. Um, so if, if, if I could just figure out how to side load the Play Store, I think it'd be, I think I'll be all set. Uh, so later today I'm going to get a stand and I'm going to hook it up to my, my Mac and then I'm going to report how it, how it behaves as, as, a, as a computer screen. So that's it for now. Thanks.